You know, Visual Studio Toolbox, it's all fun and games. We always have fun. Today we're going to see with Visual Studio and Unity that you can build games like this. Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green, and joining me today is Arturo Nunez. Hey, Arturo. Hey, Robert. How are you? Good. Arturo works with Unity, and so we're going to talk today a little bit about gaming. Yes. And Unity and Visual Studio have gotten along very well together for quite some time, and it only gets better. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to show us some of the new things in the latest version of Unity, latest version of Visual Studio. You're going to turn me into a game writer in less than 20 minutes, which is going to be awesome. That's the goal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. So um, let me talk to you about Unity first. Okay. For so uh, of the audience who doesn't know what Unity is, uh, Unity is it started as a game engine, but now uh, we call it a creation engine. Mm -hmm. Basically, you can create games, but you can also create uh, interactive applications for VR, AR, in 3D, 2D. So right. that's what we are doing. So if now you do Hololens, Unity. there's Unity. If you do mixed reality, there's right. Unity. Right. 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 So we support 30 plus platforms. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you want to deploy. Um, your project to any platform that's out there you can with okay. Unity. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, so we, we th the tool is pretty uh, easy to use. So if you're an artist, you can grab Unity, you can create something cool without having to program. If you're a programmer, you have complete control over what you want to do. Like if you want to program the graphics, you can do that. Mm -hmm. If you want to uh, program the behavior of your characters or, your, or the things that's there, you can absolutely do that uh, using C Sharp. Right. That's the language we support. So you create the graphics, the UI, if you will, in Unity, yeah. which is its own IDE. And then in Visual Studio, you do the scripting, right. which you can do in C Sharp and other languages, right, um, to actually control what happens. Right. So Unity takes care of everything, like the, the, the rendering, the mm -hmm. audio, uh, all of those things for you. So you just need to focus on the, the behavior specific for your okay. project. That's how, how it works. It's C Sharp. We support other languages, uh, but the best experience is it's, it's using C Sharp. Right. Yeah. That's, that's uh, cool. what Unity is. Yeah. So let me show you uh, All right. uh, a, a demo using Unity. So this, uh, this example is called Angry Bots. Uh, something like six years ago, we had uh, the same demo. Now with the new, newest features of Unity, we're showing the same uh, project, but with the newest uh, graphics edition. So okay. this is how Unity works, right? It's an editor, it's software. So you can basically drag and drop stuff into your project. So in this case, I created this spider robot in another pro program. This is a 3D model. The textures were made in another program. I bring those into Unity, and mm -hmm. I simply can position them uh, whenever, whatever so I you want. need to have this type of graphics capability? I need to be able to draw floors and robots? That's, that's a good question. And usually, you, you can if you, if you have the ability to, to, to make them. However, uh, we have something called the Asset Store. Okay. Uh, so basically, if you just want to focus on the coding part, you can go there, grab some stuff that is pre-made, some animations okay. that are pre-made, and just use them for your for right. your project. And then you can edit those if you want to? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. If you if you like like this spider, but you want another color, or you right. want to make or some more legs changes. or fewer legs, right? Or that's that's okay. possible. So that's how you create your your, okay. your world. You can have uh, a two D or three D three D project, mm -hmm. and the only thing you have to do is simply click play to start the simulation of your your project, and you can start playing right away. So okay. uh, Unity also takes care of all the input. So if you're playing on a PC or an Xbox One or whatever, Unity will translate that input put into whatever you, you are working on. So it's a, it's a really simple game, a shooter, uh, that's Space Marine. Um, we have a lot of tools inside Unity to, to create these things. Uh, however, the powerful thing here is that you as a programmer can add behavior on top of everything that Unity offers you, either on the runtime or on the editor. Mm -hmm. Unity is fully extensible, so if there is something that Unity doesn't have right now, you could go there and extend the Unity editor. So yeah, that's uh, in a nutshell what Unity So Unity the, is. the creatures that bought the Space Marine, that comes with some built-in behaviors, like the ability to go forwards and backwards and left and right and jump, etc. cetera, so, so and then yeah. you program additional stuff? Right. So. Um, uh, some of these objects already come with built-in behavior. Okay. So if you want to start prototyping or doing some of those things, we offer you a collection of assets that you can simply drag and drop and start having something like a camera that moves around or okay. a character that walks around. 
but as you progress during your development, maybe you want to code the specifics for that, that uh, project you want. So okay. that's where right. uh, the programming Because I think part. that if you're just starting out, you'd want to reuse stuff that's already made yeah. and get the feel for how it works yes. and then get better and better um, in terms of creating your own um, images, your, your, your own assets, etc. Right, right. See, um, Joe, so yeah, that's the, that's the idea, that mm -hmm. you get started using Unity real quick, uh, but if you're an advanced user, you can, you can do whatever you, you want. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's it. So, this is the, this is the, the editor um, of Unity, um, and the best idea, ID for editing your C-sharp um, code, and I'm saying this truly, it's, it's <laughs> Visual Studio. Like, I've yeah. been using Visual Studio for forever. Uh, every time we are closing, uh, are working closing, closer with uh, Microsoft, mm -hmm. so the experience gets better and better, right? Okay. So, um, now we have um, the ability to debug your Unity projects in Visual Studio, and the workflow is so clean, it's so, so fast. That's one of the things that I'm super excited cool. about. So, yeah, this is, this is, um, a basic C sharp script um, in, in for Unity. Uh, basically, if you want to respond to Unity's built-in messages, you need to extend the mono behavior class. Okay. But if you already know C sharp, I will say you're like on the other side. You right. already know most of the the, the the things you need to do to start. So it, it brings stuff. up an interesting question. Unity is on the mono runtime, yes. right? So what version of C sharp? What version or equivalent version of .NET, if I come in here, yeah. how much of what I might, of what I'm used to, would I be able to actually run inside here? Right, so we're revamping that. Um, a couple of years ago, we're still, we were still using old versions of C Sharp okay. and Mono. Uh, right now, we offer support for uh, uh, the equivalent of 4.2, uh, okay. or 4.x uh, uh, runtime. Uh, C Sharp, currently we support C Sharp 6, okay. but with the newest version of Unity, we're going to support C Sharp 7 okay. features. So yeah, we're trying to get there um, to, to provide the, the latest tools that are out there. Right. Uh, yeah. And then that gives you the ability not only to do basic C Sharp, but call into various framework stuff, talk to Azure if you want right. to store uh, information up in the cloud or whatever, yeah. right, because it's, it's .NET. Yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. Um, cool. So yeah, that's 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 something that you can uh, absolutely do. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> also on the performance side, uh, now with uh, these upgrades of the runtimes, we're getting performance uh, boosts. Mm -hmm. uh, also, some bugs has been have been fixed now. So yeah, it's 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 pretty exciting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I just want to show you a yeah, couple of let's. things of how the, the, the workflow works if you're using Visual Studio and Unity. Uh, so for instance, as you have seen here, uh, the U Unity comes with a project window. So this right. project window has all the assets in your project. So from textures, sounds, uh, scripts, videos, everything, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're a programmer, you might not necessarily care about these assets, right? You just want the code, you just want to have the scripts um, somewhere in your, in, in at, at hand. So uh, with Visual Studio, if you go to here window, there's a new Unity Project Explorer. And this tool oh, allows nice. you just to see the scripts in your project. So okay. if I'm just focusing on programming right now, I don't need to, to worry about clicking other assets that I don't care mm -hmm. uh, uh, about. Another cool thing, and, and this is if, if you know already C Sharp, but you don't necessarily know the specifics of the Unity API. Right. Um, you know, you can go to the documentation, do things like that, but if you just want to, to get um, uh, up to speed with this, uh, there's an awesome feature. And then I see the, the screwdriver there, see so a full support for Roslyn and... Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah. Or at least Me too. much support. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so right. there, there's an option if you click Control-Shift-M, mm -hmm. uh, the implement unique messages uh, option appears. So all of the, all the messages you hear here, you see here, sorry, uh, are messages that uh, any mono, uh, any mono behavior can receive from the engine. So every time you click play, mm -hmm. you need calls start on all the objects that are on the scene. So yeah, sometimes we have a lot of them. So yeah. maybe you don't know all of them. This uh, feature, it's, uh, it's super useful. So in case I want to say, uh, I'm, please Visual Studio define, sorry. I don't know, the on trigger, enter 
message, right? Mm -hmm. If I want to listen to whenever two objects collide with each other, right. then Unity is going to notify me, okay, something collided here. Okay. And I didn't have to go to a browser to search how how's the correct signature for this method, so mm -hmm. it's it's pretty quick. Um, okay, I, I also want to show you how easy it is to debug. And this is uh, very, very important because uh, <coughs> in the previous IDE Unity used, or uh, what was shipping with, it was kind of hard to do debugging. Mm -hmm. So uh, developers ended up just printing uh, everything to the console, uh, and it you know it's it's difficult to do that. The, that's not the like the best tool to do that. Uh, within Visual Studio, you can simply add your break uh, uh, breakpoints mm -hmm. as you do if you you already know uh, to use Visual Studio. In this case, this uh, this breakpoint will be called every time I shoot. Uh, uh, projectile, okay, and within Unity, I can simply attach uh, to Unity and play. So I don't need to be uh, switching between uh, the Unity and Visual Studio. So I can simply say, okay, Visual Studio, launch Unity, mm -hmm. while you connect to that process. So I can now start debugging my project here. Oh, cool. So as soon as I shoot. Visual Studio captures that Excellent. event, and I can, yep. you know, inspect as you already do um, right. in Visual Studio. So very cool. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool tools for developers. Also important because Unity is now used by other industries. Mm -hmm. You know, people making interactive interactive applications. So yeah, most people are new to programming. So having these tools at hand, super easy right. to use, is very important for yep. for us. So new to programming, what if you're you've been doing .NET for a while, C Sharp, web apps, uh, line of business apps, yeah. and now you want to try your hand at gaming. Yes. So the part where you write C Sharp code in Visual Studio is pretty familiar. Um, you can you know, go to the asset store and get a bunch of assets, but how hard is it for somebody that's just used to writing regular line of business apps to come over and learn the world of gaming and Right, <laughs> and, and, and the graphics and, and things graphics. like that. Yeah, so there, there are a lot of, of resources on the, on the web on how to learn using Unity, either mm -hmm. by the community, okay. uh, but we also have official documentation. Uh, I think it's, 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 it's fun to work on this because uh, if you're trying to follow a tutorial, you're making a game, right? So right. you get excited about shooting stuff, or about collecting points and things mm -hmm. like that. So there's a lot of uh, documentation on that. Uh, one thing I always recommend people on doing is at least knowing the basics of, of you know, graphics or, or, or math. It's not required, but you can, I think you can have more fun if you, if you do follow right. that path. Yeah. yeah, well, you have to understand the underlying platform. Like if yeah. you're, you, you say, oh, I'm, I know C Sharp, I'm going to go use Xamarin and write mobile apps because yeah. Xamarin's just C Sharp. Right. And you get over there and the code you write is similar, but if you don't really understand the iOS runtime or the Android runtime, you know, how great an app can you write? And sure. if you come over into Unity and you know C Sharp and you know a few things, but you don't really understand what the, what the engine is doing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, how great a game can you write? So yeah. you, do, you do ultimately need to get pretty good at that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, absolutely, and another thing that is important. But you don't want to have to wait to master that before you can right. create your first game where somebody runs backwards and forwards and jumps. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely you, you need to know the, the underlying platform you're running, the hardware you're running, because yeah. you're writing a mobile uh, game. Uh, but it's too process intensive, it's going to drain the battery in a couple of minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want that experience to you, to, for your user. Uh, one thing that Unity already takes care of is uh, trying to write the, the optimized code for each platform you export to. However, you still need to, to know, as you said, like the, the underlying platform you're right. targeting. So how does that part work? You want, you want this game to run on PCs, on Macs, yeah. on various phones. Um, do you have to, obviously the code behind is the same. Yes. You know, he has the ability to compile into those platforms, but you have to do the UI differently? Uh, that's uh, that's a, an interesting question. Uh, you don't. Uh, 
Like we provide you tools to just like tell you, you define your UI, for instance, okay. uh, in a certain way, and then Unity will take care of scaling okay. and managing all those things. As you say, the code that you write is the same. Unity will take care of okay. compiling to the specific uh, platform. And the only thing you need to do, basically, most of the time, is just tell Unity, okay, I want you to build to Xbox One, for instance. Okay. Uh, in this case, I don't have the the, the uh, component loaded. Yet. I need to go to the internet and, and install it okay. here. But it's 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 super simple to do. Okay. That. Yeah. Cool. And then you could you may decide that your game is too busy for smaller form factor, yeah. and then you might have to adjust it that way if the scaling doesn't take care of it for you. Yeah, yeah. And, and another thing is like uh, given the hardware differences between devices, yes. like if I'm running here, I might not care about uh, my my computer computer draining the battery because I can be plugged right. in. But if I'm on, on the cell phone. Um, Okay. I am so sure. yeah. Um, you you need to take care of those of those things. Um, <coughs> and yeah, it's it's th there are a lot of other components that you can understand if you want if you're interested into that. But some other other things you don't have to do. Mm -hmm. If you just want to have a lighting source, you put a light there, it will work, and you don't have to worry about that. Uh, so yeah. cool. Um, yeah. So you you can grab Unity for free if you're starting. There is a personal edition mm -hmm. if you want to, to try it out. Um, everything is unlocked, meaning that you can do whatever you, you the, the engine is not locked with any features for pro uh, customers or anything. Okay. So you can just uh, play around with that. Also, I know the audience uh, is interested in like open source uh, platforms and open source projects. Uh, Unity uh, itself is not open source. Mm -hmm. However, we are, uh, opening many of Unity's components. So the UI is open source, the networking is open source, mm -hmm. um, many of Unity's components are open source. Oh, cool. So you can collaborate, you mm -hmm. can just see what's underlying the, the platform right. as, as possible. And if you wanted to, you could use Visual Studio Code to do the scripting as well, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You, you just cool. don't get the the nice tie-in from IDE to IDE. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah, you can, those are, are C-sharp scripts. So right. You can, uh, Edit them anywhere, okay, cool. but if you want to like have the all the all the speed of development, right? Uh, that's that's it. It's also uh, Unity is available on Mac for okay. for authoring. So if you have Visual Studio on on the Mac, the experience ah, is going to be okay. The same. So Visual Studio for Mac also ties yeah, in just yeah. as nicely. And oh, cool. it works. It okay. works great. So it, it, it's important because before, if you were developing on PC and then you had uh, to switch to Mac to do uh, iOS development or something. Right. You had to switch your environment, but yeah, now you can have the same stuff running on both, mm -hmm. both platforms. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah. So um, also we're announcing this partnership with uh, Unity and Visual Studio. There's going to be a bundle okay. out there, so you can save um, a couple of hundred dollars uh, if you buy, uh, if you get Unity and Visual Studio. Okay, together. so if you already have Visual Studio, you can just get Unity, uh, use it for free, and then at some point you have to pay. Probably if you're now selling games and whatnot, I would imagine, right? Yeah, well, so our licensing it's it's pretty pretty good, I think. Uh, you don't have to pay us anything if you make less than a hundred thousand dollars per year. Oh, so okay. So if you're just you can even make money out of your projects. You don't oh. have to pay after you 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 pass that amount. Oh. You have well, to acquire. If I get to the point where I'm making six figures on a game, <laughs> I'm probably pretty happy to pay. Yeah, I, 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 I think, think that's the same fair. Way. Yeah, correct. No danger of that happening anytime soon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we don't we don't charge royalties. Okay. So if you become a super millionaire out of your mm -hmm. Unity authored game, you just pay your licenses okay. and you don't have to pay this ever again. Right. And I think it's it's important. And then the bundle is the ability to buy Visual Studio and Unity. Yes, yes, okay. that's that's the bundle. Um, that's what you, cool. you save. All right, so we'll have links to that in the show notes. We'll put some links to some tutorials and some getting started. Yeah. I know earlier today you did some getting started videos. There's really good stuff on the Unity website for how you might get started doing this. Um, and like anything, start small. Right. You know, do something simple and then learn bit by bit. But it's a lot of fun. And it is. It, it, it is can, a lot of fun. It can be a nice change of pace from writing, you know, the same old desktop and web apps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, it's a fun world. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for coming on and showing that to us. Thank you very much.
All right, hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox.